guess one question I would have is this. Are we going to find in the years into the future that just like with the flu vaccine, we're going to get a COVID vaccine every year because there are going to be so many variants of this illness out there that will need to be, uh, that will need to adjust the vaccination. It's great to be here. I think your, uh, it's a great question and your answer comes in two ways. One is that as the virus is out there and as it mutates and as people are vulnerable because either they don't get vaccinated or whatever, then uh, yes, I think as long as COVID's out there and is mutating, we will continue to need some level of boosters. I think the second part of that is over time, presumably the disease will get less bad, it'll be less severe, and hopefully over time will become less of a problem. And so, as you know, not everyone even gets a flu vaccine every year, Tyler. No, certainly not. So, so without being flip, I don't mean to sound flip or insensitive, uh, though inevitably it may, is are these new variants actually good news for the share price of a company like Moderna or Pfizer? I'm not sure it's good news, but what it does remind us is that there is uh, obviously a need to get a booster, uh, uh, certainly for the next year and certainly for the next couple of years, and that that reminds us and we'll need orders from governments, uh, urgency to get jabs, and I guess keeps it in the minds of people uh, that demand is there. Um, I, I guess you're right. It's not to be flippant, but I did want to put it this way. And we had just put a note about this. It's kind of like iPhone 13 and iPhone 12. There may be a different version, a better version every year. You may need that version, et cetera. And so I do think it keeps a level of demand. It's just a question of whether that's already implied in the stock, Tyler, where mm -hmm. there's already an assumption. You know, unless uh, another phone maker comes out with an with an Apple killer, and and I guess Michael, you, in your coverage universe is also Adagio Therapeutics, which yesterday indicated that its experimental treatment um, is effective against uh, Omicron, the Omicron variant, and also may be effective in preventing it for up to 12 months. And I'm wondering how you view that as a threat to Moderna. Um, or Pfizer, I don't think you cover Pfizer in terms of its revenue stream from this new variant. I mean, how do you factor that in? That's a great question. Look, we certainly think that vaccines and Moderna and Pfizer, BioNTech, and those vaccines are going to be the mainstay. Certainly for a smaller company like Adagio, there is plenty of opportunity, and we do think that that could potentially be the best-in-class antibody treatment, better than the Regeneron treatment, because of these variants and because of the way the Adagio antibody is designed, that there will be a need for treatments, there will be a need for something that works for different variants, which is Adagio, and that there are areas where people can use it as a vaccine, like particularly in immunocompromised people, where vaccines don't really work in immunocompromised people. So I think that's an opportunity for Adagio, and that is uh, going to be a player, but it's certainly not a major threat, I think, to, to Moderna. How soon are we likely to know whether the existing vaccines uh, are effective against Omicron or whether no. Regeneron's uh, monoclonal antibody treatment is effective against it, for that matter? We believe that in the next two to four weeks, as has been mentioned by Pfizer and Moderna, we will get data on the existing vaccines that people have been taking and how they are doing on the Omicron uh, uh, variant. Mm -hmm. We believe you mm -hmm. will find that the current boosters, which I guess is like iPhone 12, is effective, and Albert obviously said that. He thinks the vaccines will be effective, but that a better, new, improved version of it, specifically against the Omicron, will be best. So it's okay if you're using the older one. That will be fine. The newer and better one, logically, should be available for 2022, and uh, that will be better. That's my call, and I think that's what's going to happen.